Hi everyone, if you caught our live earlier today, you know that we took apart a 4.6 liter Ford engine. It's out of a 97 F-150, 4.6 liter two valve engine. And what we discovered when we got in there was that this unit had been hydrolocked. So I wanna talk about hydrolock, but I also wanna talk about this one specifically because it was not coolant or water that got into the engine, it was actually fuel that hydrolocked it. Hydrolocking in short means that so much liquid enters your cylinder that your piston is not able to complete its travel. So just to give you guys a visual, you've got your piston and you've got your cylinder. So, so much liquid has entered here somehow that the piston cannot complete its travel because you cannot compress liquid. So meanwhile, your crank still wants to spin and you end up with a connecting rod that looks like this. This rod actually also has marks from hitting the crank where the piston wasn't able to go anywhere, but the crank still wanted to spin. So one of two things is gonna happen at this point, either your engine is just gonna completely lock up or things are going to start breaking and it's gonna start wreaking havoc on the inside of your engine. Fuel entering your intake ports eventually makes its way into the cylinders and causes this. So the fuel is going to get into the intake ports because one of two things, either your fuel pressure regulator failed or you have an injector that is stuck open and it's just steadily pouring fuel into your intake port. This is a perfect example of why you wanna be sure that you're diagnosing your engine properly. Sometimes your engine fails, but the problem is not in the engine. This specific engine only had 1,000 miles on it. It did not make it very far before it failed because of the injectors. If you've ever had a unit hydrolock on you, I would love to hear about it in the comments.